Hi everyone, I'm recording this on May 26, 2020. Um, two months ago when we first locked down, um, one thing I thought I would miss a lot was um, dating. I don't like online dating. And um, I, I like to just mingle and practice and then mess up and learn from that experience. You don't get, uh, you don't get a, a, as much of a chance to do that with online dating. Um, I, I, uh, I've learned, I learned long ago uh, when I was still a teenager that every time uh, I asked a girl out and I got rejected, it was not a complete loss. I got to learn what I did wrong, you know, how I could do better next time. And with online dating, a lot of that is lost. But, but there is a big advantage of online dating or any kind of social media in general. People are much more relaxed with what they say on social media. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. I've heard horror stories about people um, leaking out stuff they shouldn't um, at their workplace or not getting hired for a job because of something they posted decades ago. Oh, it's a big problem in that regard. But at the same time, it makes it easier for you to weed out things without wasting a lot of time. One of the big problems I've wasted too many years on is um, dating girls who eventually wanted children and I waste a lot of time before I get to the point where I find out they want children. That's a big problem here in the United States. Uh, when I travel to Taiwan or China or uh, Japan and I mingle with people there, it's the culture is very different. It's perfectly acceptable to ask a perfect stranger on day one what they think about having children. You would never think about doing that here in the United States, especially if that person is somebody you have to uh, work with or associate with daily. If you uh, have a favorite grocery store that you go to and, and you like the cashier there, you would never think about asking the cashier what they think about the idea of having children, right? Uh, in Taiwan, it's very different. Uh, I've had people ask me that. I've asked people that. It doesn't seem to be a big bother. In the U.S., not so much. And I end up wasting a lot of time. Uh, going on dates with girls like that. To be honest, some of these girls might just be taking advantage of me, right? To, to, to get some free food or whatever uh, out of me um, before they let me know they want to have children. Uh, who knows? Whether it, it be honest or dishonest, the problem is that I waste a lot of time. And online, that doesn't seem to be a problem, especially on a dating site where you can input whether or not what your thoughts about children are, right? Because they're not answering to you specifically, right? People are much more bold with how they answer things like that. Or even on Facebook, right? This whole crisis has brought out the, the worst of people, right? People post brutally honestly on Facebook what they think about the lockdown. Uh, and this whole idea that we're all in this together completely falls apart when you look at what people are saying on Facebook, right? They're, they're upset about not being able to go to their favorite vacation. They, uh, they're upset that other people are going out and not wearing a face mask. They're upset about uh, being out of work. Uh, people are, are, are very bold in front of a keyboard that they would never say out in public, right? I've been, I've been kind of using this opportunity to get to know uh, some of my coworkers and in my social circle that they would never tell me face to face, right? I've been kind of using this as an opportunity, and I, I think other people are using this as an opportunity to know me, it's especially when they watch some of my YouTube videos, which I don't mind sharing because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, our connections are our most important things, right? Um, but um, God, I I I, 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 um, I I've wasted a lot of time. Because of, of not getting to know somebody. And, then, and you know, to be honest, it, it, it's not a complete waste, right? I still get to practice, but I wish I had known it was practice from day one, right? Uh, so this is great. Uh, once the whole crisis is over, uh, I want to practice some social media distancing and actually get to interact with people in my real life using the lessons I learned during this time. Thanks for watching.